So this is the actual implant itself. For those of you who have never actually felt uh, a kangaroo pouch, I would recommend um, you do. Um, certainly after it's soaked in um, either saline or antibiotic, I tend to use the antibiotic wash that we use to wash the pocket. The feeling is particularly different um, as opposed to um, a synthetic pouch. And so it, it, it is, is much easier to be able to wrap around a generator and fit into a pocket that um, you're trying to make the incision as small as possible so that it looks as good for the patient um, just in general. And so um, that, that, that feeling is significantly different. Now, again, this video was taken before I started to take leads and also place them into the pocket, um, the kangaroo pouch rather, before putting into the pocket. Um, but it's a lot easier. In fact, with you know synthetic pouches that I've used in the past, I sometimes can't even get it into the pocket. I just cut it and then I jam it in there and hope that it helps, which I'm not even sure if it does, to be honest, because that's not how it was designed. But, um, but you can see there that um, it fits sort of as a nice snug location um, for me to be able to um, you know, close down uh, and, and make an incision as small as possible. And this was you know, another very thin skinned uh, person that doesn't have a lot of tissue and trying to avoid um, you know, any issues related to after closure of the device. So um, again, I, I would recommend that you actually feel the difference between the pouches because you can feel the difference. And then when you actually use it in terms of implantation, it's very easy and straightforward.